um, it not going wrong. Yeah, somewhere we both was a comfortable way. It could be basic cinema or restaurant or... Basic, basic cinema basic or cinema, restaurant. Basic movie. Basic <laughs> movie. So just a rubbish film. Just a basic one, not a good one. A basic one. <laughs> well, she's, she's a date where she's comfortable, I guess. Ideal first date. McDonald's. Okay. Anywhere in Manchester. Guys, we're going to go now. Anywhere Manchester bound. My ideal date is a hot air balloon ride. If I wasn't scared of heights, I'd like to take a girl on a hot air. You know, a little bit of like champagne and like some, some nice food and just go on a hot air balloon because then there's no one else there apart from the geese giving it shh, shh, all the time. But yeah, you're on your own there, you know. So yeah, hot air balloon ride, perfect date. Yeah, yeah. Uh, London Eye. Um, I nearly, very, very nearly last weekend took someone to Paris, very nearly. I literally said she couldn't go, unfortunately she had a birthday the next day, she couldn't go. But nearly, it's just, spontaneity is so important, so important. Star I watched Coyote Ugly with a, with a girl. Oh, I was in the cinema uh, too. Yeah, the cinema, Coyote Ugly. And uh, the film was much better than her. <laughs> it's the truth. Amazing. She was boring. The, the film was rubbish, but it wasn't as rubbish as her company. In my cinema, in my say, there was lots of tongue involved uh, in the cinema. Interesting. That's all I'm going to say. I never really went on dates. Can you remember that? Awkward. <laughs> Very awkward. <laughs> okay. I remember one of my early dates, which was going to see Scooby Doo, the movie. And because I chose that because I thought it'd be so boring, all we all we'd do is kiss. And then the girl got really into the movie and spilt my drink. So I had to go and buy her being a fruit shoot with like the last amount of money I had and she just drank all of it and kept like eating candy floss and that like, That sounds like the worst it was date. Such ever. a bad thing. Did you have your first kiss at the end of that day as well? I know, I had my first kiss and I was like And it was alright? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my mate from school, I said my mate, my girlfriend, you know, whatever that is at school, um, came over to my house, got driven by her mum, which is like the coolest thing, and then we um, messed around in the park for a few hours, and that was that. You're the first one that hasn't said the cinema as a first date. Cinema so much, oh, I'm sorry, first date, what, you're going to sit in a dark room and don't talk to each other, what kind of exactly. date is that? Exactly. I remember my first date. Yeah, I didn't start dating until I didn't start dating until late because I, I get all nervous. What's stuff. late? Until like probably about I'm 23. I think until about 22. Oh crikey! I took a girl to um, TGI Fridays. That was my first date. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Um, and then my first sort of major date was when I took Amy to the zoo. That was my first sort of big meaningful date. Oh, that, yeah, I've got that's one for dating. Well. Now I'm getting into it. But I used to get a little bit nervous. My first date ever. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bella Pasta for dinner um, and we, I was quite young and the bill came and he didn't quite know how to pay it I think because you know you put the money on the plate and then it gets taken away and then he didn't really know how to do that and it was just really awkward and in the end I kind of said shall I do it and it was really embarrassing but no it was fun. Did he get a second date? I think I did get a second date but I was so young then it was literally like holding hands it wasn't much fun. I think dates are better when you're older and you kind of get to you know sleep at the end of the night. <laughs> Can you remember your first kiss? And what was yes, and I bit his tongue. I was at Pony Club camp and um, we were sitting on a camp bed and we were on the end of the bed and he kind of leant forward and kissed me. And obviously the weight made the camp bed go up and then I ended up biting his tongue, so it was really embarrassing. Oh no! So yeah, I didn't kiss for a while after that because I was so scared. Oh. <laughs> I don't really date very much. I never really, generally, I get to know the person kind of thing and then go, yeah, it kind of falls into it. I never go, would you like to go for a date? It's, it's never really, but I always go on very, very weird dates. I love going on 
hazard. Like what? Give us Never go for dinner. Most boring thing in Taiwan. Well, completely most boring thing. Always go to London Aquarium. Go and do something like that. Go and, I mean, last night I did actually go on a date. And, um, and she was like, I was like, yeah, I'm going to take you from McDonald's. That's a joke. And I arrived with a, with a chauffeur car. I arrived at the house with a McDonald's. And we ate on the way and then went for cocktails. Amazing. And so, like, you do stuff like that and then perfect. Like, otherwise, very boring. to get over a bad break, that's what you got to do. Your friends are there because they're your friends. You know, I remember when I split up with uh, Lawrence, my friends were there all the time for me. So yeah, stick with your friends. And that's why they're called friends, because uh, they'll make you feel happy, you know? And go have a cuddle with your mum. Go have a cuddle with your mum. Um, be, first of all, be sure that it's the right thing to do, and then, you know, keep that in mind and move on. Like, it's hard, it's horrible, it's a hard thing to do. Everyone has to do it. Everyone has to do it. Breakup, if you're the one that's heartbroken, I think is to just cut all ties and not speak to them for at least six months and spend a lot of time with your girlfriends, have a lot of fun with the people that you really love in your life, um, and realize that if he doesn't want to be with you, he's actually not worth it. Oh, that's difficult. Time is everything. Like, you just have to keep as busy, as busy, as busy as you can. And I've had to do it and, and try and get over a breakup it's like in, in the public eye, which is incredibly difficult in a way as well. Um, and that's um, it's just time, isn't it? Everyone's been through it in the entire world. It's kind of after doing a breakup, my last breakup. It's, um, it's still, it still hurts, of course it does, but it's, it's, it's just time heals Something everything. You have to and then, go through. Yeah. Sorry, you what? Something you have to go through. You just have, everyone goes through it. Every, and you, when you look around, I think that every single person, you walk down Oxford Street, you look at every single person, that entire place, and you go, every single person has been through or is going to go through that same thing you're feeling, so you're not on your own.